Welcome back. Helping your child be the healthiest that they can be is an everyday struggle. Often the battle over what they should eat and what they want to eat ends with some loud sighs and relenting parents. Yeah, you just like, all right, have the mac and cheese. Well, it's hard work to get your kids to eat the way they should, but it can be made easier with a little know-how and a couple of tricks. So here to help us, Amy Singleton with the UK Extension Services Nutrition Education Program. And Amy, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Of course. So it's Child Health Day. Not sure if anybody knows, but it's always a great time to talk about keeping your kids healthy. So uh, what does smart eating look like when it comes to kids, what do they need? Right, so um, the first thing to remember is there's no magic foods to eat for health. Yeah. We're really just looking for a variety of foods from each food group okay. so that they get the nutrients that they need throughout the day. Sure. Um, one of the things that we use to visualize how to build a healthy plate at each and every meal is to use the My Plate model. Mm -hmm. So the aim there is to fill your plate with half fruits and vegetables. Okay. You have a place for those whole grains, a place for lean protein, and then a place for your non-fat or low-fat dairy product. Okay. So like putting like a whole steak on top of the plate <laughs> and covering up all the other food groups, not the best thing to Probably do. Probably not. No. Okay. <laughs> so we really do want all those fruits and veggies, and most people I don't think realize that that's got to be half of your plate. Yeah. And when you think about grains, you think about you know how much pasta. Is. Some sometimes you just put a plate of pasta out exactly. there. Exactly. And that's not quite the right thing to do. Yeah. Right? So this definitely helps you not only get all those food groups, but also portion control. Sure. So kids are always complaining. I I do this too about being hungry. So what's the best way that a parent can combat that? Because sometimes you know you're in the car or you're out running yeah. errands and there's other things going on. How can you make sure they're still eating healthy then? Absolutely. So the first thing I recommend is that um, parents stick to a routine and they provide meals and snacks at similar times throughout the day. Okay. And that helps kids because they know when to anticipate their next meal. Um, the other thing that I recommend is incorporating more whole grains. Yes. And whole grains provide fiber uh, that give us fullness. They give us that sense sure. um, and also key nutrients. So that's another great way to help kids uh, feel less hungry throughout the day. So here I've actually brought some examples of ways that parents can incorporate more whole grains in their kiddos' diets. Yes. So here I've got for breakfast oatmeal, and that's a natural whole grain. There you see I've added strawberries just to give it a little bit of sweetness mm -hmm. to appeal to those kids. Um, they can add any kind of fruit that they want, but try to stay away from sugar. Um, you don't want those empty calories. Absolutely. Um, we got. I the whole wheat bread. Absolutely. So for those sandwiches, you could also do a whole wheat tortilla for a wrap or a burrito. And I know you have to read carefully on the nutrition label or the ingredients label, I should say, Absolutely. that it says whole wheat. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you want to look for 100% whole wheat and then, yeah, on the ingredient list, look for whole wheat. Okay. Very good. Um, popcorn is a favorite snack of mine. Yeah. I actually can make a whole meal out of popcorn, but I, you know, probably should stick to this portion that you have <laughs> shown here. <laughs> well, it is a natural whole grain, so it is very good for you. It has a lot of fiber in there. You of course want to look for the one that's not covered in butter mm -hmm. and look for other ways to flavor it. So maybe you try sprinkling it with a little bit of cinnamon or give it a kick with some cayenne pepper. Well Amy, we're running out of time. I want to just at least cover these last two. Of course we've got yeah. brown rice, a great alternative for white right? right? And uh, a little smoothie there which yeah. gets a lot of nutrients packed into one little Absolutely. And something glass. kids could make themselves. Oh, so they can kind of pick and choose what they like to Absolutely. put in there. Absolutely. Awesome. Well Amy, lots of information available at your local extension office and they can help with not only recipes but the actual nutrition in those yes. recipes, right? Yes, and cooking classes, getting those kids involved in actually preparing their own meals and snacks. Fantastic. Well, Amy, yeah. thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. We're back with more for you right after this.